is up guys, Trizzle Trey with Triz Tech and Electronics, and in this video, I'm giving you guys step-by-step -step instructions on how to put Adobe Flash Player on your brand new Google Nexus 7 for 2013. Now I have done this video two times previously, once for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and then one other time just recently for the Samsung Galaxy S4 as well, and both of those videos will be annotated in the top left and right corners of your screen through the length of this video, and they will open up in separate tabs if you do in fact click on them. Uh, just in case you do own those devices as well and you want to see this step-by-step -step process done specifically for those two devices, go ahead and have at it with those two videos. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video of how to show you how to put Adobe Flash Player on your brand new Google Nexus 7. So the first thing that I would say to do and preface this is, is to say download Mozilla Firefox for Android if you do not in fact have it yet. The reason why I say that is because this process will be so much more simple given that you have Mozilla Firefox because it runs the smoothest with that. So you're going to go ahead and open up Firefox once you've downloaded it if you don't have it already. You can go ahead and click on it. The first thing you're going to do is Google search Adobe Flash Player Archive. Now for the purposes of this video, I've already preloaded that on the Google page search Adobe Flash Player Archives. And the top thing it's going to bring up is Archive Flash Player Versions. This is from the Adobe website. So you're going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to load the Flash Player Help slash Archived Flash Player Versions. And once you get to this website, you're going to scroll about midway down this until it exposes Flash Player for Android 4.0 Archives. You're going to click on the top one, it's 11.1 .1 for Android 4.0. 1.1.5 blah 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 you're gonna go ahead and click on that it's gonna say that it started the download when it opens up because I already have this installed it's gonna ask you to update it even though there isn't an update for it because I already have it installed but the process is still the same in case this is the very first time you're doing it so you're gonna go ahead and press install it's gonna say installing and now that it's done it says app installed now you can either say done or open if you do open it up, it will open up in Flash Player. You're going to keep it opening in Firefox because Chrome will not allow this to work. When you open it up, this actually will not load initially because you need to go into Settings in Mozilla Firefox. You need to go to Plugins and make sure that your plugins are enabled, given that Flash is a plugin. So once you have enabled plugins, to make sure and test that it is all working, go ahead and go to the actual YouTube page, not the mobile YouTube page but the actual desktop version of YouTube. So once the desktop version of YouTube loads in your channel, the first thing you're gonna do is click on a video. We're gonna go ahead and click on the Chromecast video unboxing to kind of keep this Google tradition alive here, this kind of Google theme alive, I guess I should say. So you can see it's starting to play in the full Flash Player here on my watch page on my YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. You watch the ad play and now it's actually playing the full on version. So you see an ad pop up here as well. And you can see in the background, my Tristec and Electronics emblem is lit up in an annotation, which is something you don't generally get to see on the mobile version. Uh, the other thing that's cool about this is you can pick the resolution that you would wish to watch these videos in. So you just click the little dial like you would on the desktop version. As you see right now, it's streaming in 360p, but given that this is a 1920 by 1200 display, we're going to go ahead and watch it in full 1080p. As you can see here, it's playing very well. You can actually put it into full screen also if you would like to. Uh, we're just going to watch it on the small screen because if you do put it into the large screen, it takes away from the annotation and whatnot. But you get full access to everything you can on a YouTube video. Very, very cool to be able to do that. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is the easiest way to load Adobe Flash Player onto your brand new Google Nexus 7 for 2013. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Drop me a comment in the comment section below letting me know if you like these videos. I know you guys already saw step by step for two other devices on how to do this, but I figured I would just let it stay with the actual device so that you don't have to go thumbing through other devices and make it work on your own. You can just simply watch one for your device. So let me know if you want me to keep this alive with each device that I do get in for review. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Triz Tech and Electronics channel if you have not done so yet, because you're gonna wanna stick around for a whole hell of a lot more Google Nexus 7 coverage in the coming days. Like I said, take care guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.